So here's a short video on using the Mac terminal to SSH into an AWS server. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, in my server I ran an instance of Red Hat and I'm going to click on that server that's running and I want to SSH into it. And so I just click on the server and click on connect and go three tabs over and you'll see SSH client and they give you instructions on how to do it. Uh, so the first thing is you're going to have to change amount of, uh, the file permissions on your key and your key will be something different. I named mine Red Hat. Um, your name's going to be different. So the change mod 400 is a file permission uh, modification. So we just go first and find that file and then change that. And so an easy way to find the file is go to your Explorer window in your MacBook and find that PEM file, okay? Um, just drag it to a terminal window in your Mac. All right, so it looks like that. And so it contains a pathway of your file, okay? And then just put change mod 400 in front of it. I'm gonna show you what the existing file permissions are. Then I'll show you once we change it. So ls-l. Oh. and then drag it in. So right now the file permissions are read, write, read, read, write, execute for user group and uh, local. And we're going to do a change mod 400. So change mod 400 and then drag that file into it. All right, and so I can do an LSL to check out the new file permissions, and you just basically just have a read file permission with this. So I see how that one R. So I know it worked. And the next thing to do is says uh, connect to your instance using public DNS. I could use the same terminal window or a new one. Um, I'm going to clear it, and it gives you an example here: SSH, blah blah blah. So I'm going to copy that into Notepad. All right, and I have to edit this because this, this is not the file. They just give you the example. Um, take that path that was in your file before and reuse that pathway. So this is my path to my PEM file. I'm going to copy it and replace the quotes with that. And so it gives you the full pathway of that file, followed by EC2 and Amazon. So just basically copy that whole line that they give you. And again, your server location will be different than mine. I'm gonna click on my terminal, I'm gonna paste it in, and I'm in, that's it. So the, the indication I'm in the server is this, and right there, I could pretty much you know do whatever I want um, with this Linux uh, Red Hat server. All right, so with this server, you know, once I'm in it, um, I just to show you that I'm in the server, I could run these commands and there's, there's a lot. Um, if you want to go to your, the web and you can search on, you know, kind of the commands used with Red Hat. Um, it's just kind of fun to work around it. Uh, when you want to detach from the server, just type in exit and you're back to your MacBook. All right. And I could run a clear on that too. And so if you want to reconnect to it uh, at any point in time, just copy your script down. Hit enter and you're back in the server. Okay, so um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.